This is a screen recording um, to show you how to use a new tool in your computer lab called LandSchool. This application is found only on computer number one in your computer lab. So on computer number one, if you'll go up to Spotlight and type in the word teach or teacher, the top hit is an application called teacher that's actually LandSchool. So I'm going to open it by clicking on teacher then it will show me all the computers in the lab and notice most of the computers are not logged in but this computer right here is logged in and I'm actually going to control it by clicking on it and I'm going to go to control I'm going to close it I'm going to actually log out so what you're seeing is I'm controlling that computer from computer number one. It's making me quit kid pics. There we go. If I click on control again, I'll see all the computers. And now you can see that that computer's logged out. So I'm going to select all the computers by clicking command A. Then I'm going to go to the control. It says, do you wish to remote control multiple computers at the same time? I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to log in using kindergarten credentials. So I'm going to log in as name is ABC, password is 1234567. And this is actually showing up on every computer in the lab. Now when I click log in, it's going to log in every computer in the computer lab. Kindergarten teachers, you're going to love this. Now once everyone's logged in, it takes just a minute for the doc to show up. And as soon as the doc shows up, again, I can control every computer by what I'm doing on the screen. So what I'm doing here is happening in every computer in the lab. So I'm going to maybe go to Safari and choose student websites and I could go straight to Between the Lions by clicking right here. So that's opened up Between the Lions on every computer. I could go in and show them the story I want them to look at or we could do it together or you could at this point give them some instructions to do it on their own. To let go of the controls I click on this control again and now the students have controlled their computer. Um, another great option is show. If I click show right here it actually takes control of all the screens and whatever I do on my screen the kids can see. So this is a great way to do instruction because they don't have to look up at the projector and the large screen they can actually just look at the monitor in front of them and you can give them instructions possibly about how to use GarageBand so whatever I'm doing on my screen they can see and their mouse actually is not controlling their computer anymore I am so this is a great instructional tool that's the show tool in Land School to get back to Land School, I'm going to go down here and click on Teacher. And notice I can see all my kids are logged in as ABC, kindergarten login, and they're all on between the lions. I can also send everyone a message by clicking here. Um, can send this anonymously or I can force the students to read the message. If I click this box right here and send it, it will stay on their screen until they hit a little button that says close. So let's look at what that looks like. If I look at their computer you can see right here there's a little 
a box that says great job, time to save and quit. And they have to hit this button that says close. So to use a tool you click on it, to close the tool you click on it again. If you ever can't see Land School and you need to get back to it, click down here on Teacher. At the end of the time, if you want to select all the computers and control them all and log out, again, now I'm controlling every computer. Here's the message, great job, time to save and quit. I can close and that actually does that on every computer. I can go to the Apple and I can click log out and log out for all my kindergarten kids. So, try Land School. It's a great tool. There are all kinds of things up here that you can do. Try them all out. Be brave. So I'm going to quit Land School by going to Teacher and Quit Teacher. Great idea to quit it because you don't want students to play on it and 